The Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and lots of psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers and Geekers Chris the Atari Creep? How is everyone doing today? I figured it was time. It was time to review the Pac-Man board game by Buffalo Games and Puzzles. Sandy Claus was super rad enough to leave this under the tree for the creep. And, and it's weird. I sat there and said, you know what? Do I review it first with everything still in their packaging and on the punch cards? Do I play it first and then tell everyone how it goes? And last night we just got to the point where we were looking at it since Christmas and we're like, you know what, we're playing it. We set it all up and then it was time for the kids to get ready for bed. So, oh, I don't know what it is, but I read the instructions, watched a couple of videos, set it all up and I know the angle of the dangle here is definitely in proportion with the heat of the meat. So I know what's going on. This is such a really fun board game. We've had Pac-Man board games in the past and, you know, to a varying degree of fun. Either way, they're still a nostalgic fun nip uh, to pull out once in a while and put down your gullet. This one here, I think, captures Pac-Man the best as far as a game is concerned. They took the video game and translated it to a physical form for your tabletop. And I think they did a fantastic view. So let's have a look at all of its intricacies and its parts. I'll discuss how the game is played and I'll give you my final thoughts. So I would be a knucklehead if I didn't start off by just talking about the package and the presentation of this thing. I'm not that kind of YouTube reviewer, I guess you will. Um, but the links that they went to, uh, just it, it astounds me, especially for the $20 price point that this game commands. Um, they went all out. I mean, just look at the back of this. That looks just like if you're looking at a Pac-Man screen, obviously this is different because they got to represent what's in here. Um, but even so much as to still continue the presentation on the inside of the box, not too many companies will do that. Also, the instruction manual, highest quality. It, this, is, this is just great. When I opened all this up, I was like, what? I expected a little black and white pamphlet with some Pac-Man logos, and that's about it. This is awesome. If I didn't want to bang this up, I would honestly frame this and put this somewhere and get it ready for if I ever have a game room again. Just really fantastic stuff. I know Willie would love this. He loves his manuals. So now let's talk about what comes inside the box. You obviously get, you get the board, which is in four pieces and you have to put it together like a puzzle. You get one of each ghost. You have Pack himself. You get a whole bunch of these yellow dots that you have to set up. They come in a baggie and you gotta pop them all in. Power pellets. You got these blue ghost tokens. We'll talk about all of this here shortly. You have three of the fruit. We have cherry, we have strawberry, and we have orange or peach. I can't remember. You have Pac-Man tokens signifying how many lives you have in certain variants of the game. You have each one of the ghosts represented as chomped ghosts with just their eyeballs. Really nice touch. Uh, three dice, three die, and then you have these four chips that represent each corner of the board. They call it quadrants. We have blue cards that signify where the ghosts go. 
We have yellow cards for a different variation of the game that make it a little more challenging. Another great addition. So how the game is generally played is you have to play between two and four and five players actually. If you have five people, one person's Pac-Man and the other four people pick a ghost and they're one of those. I'm gonna call them ghosts, I may call them monsters. When we were kids, they were monsters. I, I know some people call them ghost monsters, so uh, just deal with that. The pack, pack attack is gonna roll the dice and however many the dice say, pack is gonna stomp these yellow tabs that represent the dots. Then what's gonna happen is, oh no, I shouldn't pick that. Is one of the ghosts are gonna pick one of these up. Now, you notice the blue one's here and the blue one's trapped in here. The only ghost that can go first is the red one because it's outside the box already. You cannot go through another ghost unless you have the eyeball. So that person would lose their turn. The next ghost would pick one up. Now, if you pick a fruit card, you take one of these fruity dealies and you put it on the start, and the Pac-Man can go gobble that shit right up. If Pac-Man hits one of these power pellets and eats a ghost, the ghost will then replace their piece with this and try to get back to the ready spot to rejuvenate. Pac-Man swoops up one of these bad Larrys and keeps it for later. They uh, represent a point system. And you just continue until Pac-Man dies. You write down your high score. It did come with a pad of paper here. I did not show. I'm probably not going to use these because I want to keep them intact. Uh, but what you do is you write down your high score and then you swap around the next person's Pac-Man. That person takes that person's ghost and you keep going until everyone's done and then you see who has the highest score. Guys, this is probably the best representation of the arcade Pac-Man game. This is so much fun. The only downfall of this game is having to reset these damn pegs because you have to get underneath it, pop them back up. Now you also have what they call arcade mode, where you play the game pretty much the same, except these three tokens come out. Now you only have three lives, period. You get to run around. And once you eat up all the pellets, then instead of using these cards, you pull out these cards and you'll notice that the, uh, the number of movements that the ghost monsters can make increases which also increases the difficulty of the game, much like it would in the actual arcade. Such fantastic thought. I think they probably captured the arcade closer in this board game than any other game has ever. Uh, the last thing I haven't talked about yet, I don't think so, are these quadrant cards. And all of these are is just uh, extra 800 points per card. If Pac-Man eats up all the, the dots in one quadrant, one corner of the board, you get to pick one of these in correspondence with which one, and you add that up to your total. Guys, we've had a number of Pac-Man games in the past, variants of quality and uh, different <laughs> levels of whether it be fun or a pain in the butt. Like we had the one with the white marbles, that was the most popular one. Pac-Man was kind of like a, a hungry, hungry hippo, so to speak. And yeah, I mean, I suppose that was as fun for what it could be. But I think Buffalo Games and Puzzle uh, really captured the arcade game for the physical tabletop experience. This is such a fun setup. I know me, myself, the girls, um, and of course the little misses are going to have fun for years playing this game. Uh, I, I just can't say anything else about this. $20, you get all of this, plus the entertainment of playing Pac-Man if you can't pull out your Atari 2600 and jam on Pac-Man. Because <laughs> it's not a bad game, you fucks. Um, yeah, just amazing. I give this a bajillion thumbs up if I had a system. I'd give it a hundred out of a hundred. Whatever's clever. $20, you can't go wrong, guys. I would swoop this up. If anything, look at that box. Just to put that on the shelf. I mean, it's, it's sexy. What more do you want? So, guys, go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you have this game? Have you played it with your fa family or friends? Or do you just play with yourself? <laughs> Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Just don't tell me what you do when you're cleaning up. I don't care about that, what you do with it afterwards. So, leave feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to the creep is positive. Guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching. I really do appreciate it. We're less than 15 away from that big number. Less than 15. I'm getting excited. Guys, hope you're doing well. And until next time, take care. Creep it real.
Goodbye.